Again, Your Credit Matters brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. Profile of a perfect 850 FICO score. That's what we're going to look at right now. A perfect FICO score can be a lofty goal, and it's not something that many people achieve. In fact, I've never, ever seen it. The best I've seen is an 834, but it also might not be as important as you think. In fact, when you apply for new credit, there might not be as big a difference having an exceptional FICO score of 805 versus a perfect FICO score of 850. Why a perfect score might not matter. Most FICO scores range from 300 to 850. A higher FICO score is better because it indicates that someone is less likely to miss payments in the future. Creditors consider this when deciding whether to approve credit applications and the rates and terms to offer applicants. They give the best offers to people who are least likely to miss payments. However, creditors generally don't require someone to have a perfect score to get the best offers. Instead, they often have a cutoff point, and anyone with a score higher than that can qualify. The specific point can depend on the creditor and the type of account. The creditors might charge their cut, change their cutoff times depending on other criteria, such as economic trends and an application's history, an application's history with the company. But creditors rarely, if ever, require you to have a 850 FICO score. Instead, they might give the best offers to anyone who has a score in the upper 700s and higher and meets their other criteria. If you have an exceptional FICO score, 800 and above, you almost certainly have a high enough FICO score to get the best offers. However, it's still important to shop around because different creditors may offer you various rates, terms, and loan amounts. So what's a perfect 850 good for? Bragging rights. But it also gives you a little extra wiggle room in case your score changes. If you're right on the cusp of a creditor's cutoff, a new hard inquiry or higher utilization ratio might drop your FICO score beneath their cutoff. A higher score might drop and still be above that threshold. The pathway to a perfect 850? There's no single path to getting an 850 score. After all, everyone's credit profile is unique. However, a 2023 FICO study found that people who have a perfect score tend to share several characteristics. Considering your payment history makes up 35% of your FICO score, it makes sense that people with a perfect score also have great payment history. This group didn't have any late payments, collections, or other negative marks in their payment history. The amounts you owe on credit accounts makes up about 30% of your FICO score, and your revolving credit utilization is significant component of this score factor. It might surprise you to learn that people with an 850 FICO score had an average of $13,000 in non-mortgage credit balances. And we do have a little video that you can watch on that one as well, rsrccpayment.com, rsrccpayment.com. So you can actually take a look at how to pay your credit credit the right way. Average credit, Average revolving utilization was just 4.1%. These people also have been using credit for years. The average age of their oldest credit card, not the average of all their accounts, was 30 years. Additionally, about 10% of the people had a hard inquiry from the previous 12 months, and about 25% had opened one or more new credit accounts during the past year. Whether intentionally or not, people with a perfect score tend to follow best practices for improving their FICO score, rsrccpayment.com such as paying bills on time, avoiding using large portion of the available credit, and only applying for credit as needed. How many people have a perfect FICO scores? Data from tw April 2023 found that 1.7% of the people who meet the minimum requirements for a FICO score had a 850, 1.7%. That's an increase from the previous years, but still a small minority of the people. Broken down by state, Hawaii, New Jersey, Minnesota, Massachusetts, and Connecticut had the highest percentage of people with a perfect FICO score. But even in Hawaii, it was only 2.62% of the state's eligible residents. It's also normal for FICO scores to change throughout the month. They also depend on whether the underlying credit information comes from Equifax, Experian, or TransUnion. If you want more information on this, give me a call, 800-306-1990. 